Evelyn is one of the champions that can truly 1v9 a Wild Rift match. But what separates the good Evelyns from the great Evelyns? What separates your average Evelyn that can do decently in a game to the Evelyns that can 1v9 games, secure every objective, gank lanes that will just secure them a ton of kills and just overall be a nuisance to the enemy team and pose a huge threat everywhere on the map and that's what i'm going to be teaching you to do not just to be a good or average or slightly above average evelyn but to be an amazing evelyn player and i'm going to be going over everything that you need to know just to master this champion so i'm going to be going over her abilities combos build runes and spells and i'm also going to be going over situational items as well as some of the items that may have changed um, over the course of Evelyn and that's going to be a really important section the build section then I'm going to be going into her runes and spells and I'm going to be going over tips and tricks for Evelyn this, this includes what jungle pathing that you should take in a game how to secure objectives properly if you're playing jungle Evelyn how to make your roam more effective how to control vision and all these really important topics that not a lot of guides cover but I'm going to be covering all in this video so if you guys are excited for that please drop a like and sub to the channel these videos do take a long time to make so i really appreciate all of those of you guys that don't skip around and watch the entire video as that's really going to give you as much value as you can for your time but with that out of the way let's get straight into the video all right so first off i'm going to be covering evelyn's abilities but before we do that we need to cover her passive. Now her passive is, once she sustained enough damage, whether that's by turrets, enemy champions, or jungle, once you've taken enough damage, after staying out of damage for a few seconds, you're gonna be regenerating your health. Now, if you are level five or higher, it's also going to be granting you invisibility and also regenerating your health as well. So after not taking damage or casting an ability, if I cast an ability while I'm regenerating, um, or if I try to recall while this is happening. So let's say I'm regenerating and I recall, or I start regenerating and I cast an ability, it's going to cancel the regen. So it's really important that you know that, and it's really good for her sustain when she's low, as well as also just the invis is really amazing when she uses her abilities. So it's a really big power spike when she hits level five. So that's also really important. Evelyn's first skill is going to be her hate spike and that will go through any enemy champions and release in a line. It's important to note that there's actually a difference between actually manually aiming the skill like this um, as to just tapping the skill to kind of auto aim it. So the difference is if you cast the ability, it'll shoot that way for both casts. So if I walk to the sides, it can actually miss the enemy champion if I cast it manually. If I cast it auto and I just tap on this ability, it will actually cast towards the champion um, both times. So that's something that is also something that you should be noting. Um, this ability is really great for clearing jungle because it does do AoE clear. It'll deal less damage to minions and it's also good for poke in lane through minions if that is what you're looking for. All right, so Evelyn's second ability will place a charm on, or like a curse on the enemy champion, and it has a pretty wide range, and you can place it while you're in your passive. If you attack the enemy champion after that, they're going to be taking some slow as well as be charmed. So it's a really great ability for ganking, but you don't wanna do it like at max range unless you're charming a monster. This also works really well on jungle monsters for jungle clear, and it will deal extra damage. But this, um, this ability is just really great for utility, for ganks, and for just assassinating someone in teamfights. And it'll be activated by any damaging ability, including your first ability or your third ability, and even your ultimate. So it's just a really great ability for ganks and things like that. After that, we have Evelyn's third ability. Now this ability is really interesting in that it'll work better when she is in her passive. From her passive, she can actually leap further than if she's not in her passive. It'll just kind of be like an auto attack reset without her passive. But with her passive, she's actually going to be gaining some um, range with this ability as well as it um, 
having some movement speed after you hit a target. And I think this also applies when you use it without her passive, she's also going to be gaining some movement speed. So this is mainly used to kind of gap close onto a target and to gain movement speed to chase them down after you have used this ability on them or just to escape after assassinating them and using your first ability or your ultimate. So um, this ability is also kind of short ranged even with her passive, it's not that um, big of a range so it's often combined with proto belt and then this ability and you'll have a lot more range if you do that or using your flash if you don't have proto belt built yet and i'll be going over her build and combos a little bit later into the video so that's basically what you need to know for her third ability lastly we have Avalyn's ultimate and her ultimate is just going to um, hit an enemy in this huge range and you're also gonna be um untargetable and you're gonna bounce back and you can use this to jump over walls and do things like that as well um to just be more safe it's also really good for execution damage if your target is low in health then you're going to be dealing more damage so if i just get this target a little bit low here um then if i use my ultimate on them now it's going to deal a ton more damage if the target is below 35 percent HP, which makes it a really great item in combination to other items that deal more damage when your target's low, such as Infinity Orb. And again, I'm going to be covering her build later into the video, which is really important because I'm also going to be giving you situational items. Yes, yeah, so that's her ultimate, and I'm going to be going over her combos now. All right, so now I'm gonna be going over Evelyn's combo. And the first combo that we're gonna be going over is Evelyn's most used combo. And one that you're gonna be using a lot for both jungle clears, um, wave clear, and also just for trading if you are playing Evelyn in lane. So how it starts off is first, you're going to be having your second ability cast it onto your opponent. And after they are charmed, you're gonna be using your first ability, your third ability, and then follow up with auto attacks and your first ability. And this is basically the most amount of DPS you can get, which makes it great for both jungle clears and ganking and doing other things like that. Alright, so the next combo that we're going to be learning is Evelyn's combo that you're going to be using once you're already in a fight or you just want to slow the opponent instead of getting the full um, charm off of them. You just want to slow them with your second ability. So you're going to be using your first skill and then your second ability so you're, they're already slowed. After that, you're going to use your third skill to gap close onto them as well as follow up with more of your first skill and auto attacks. So how it looks is you're going to be kind of like that and then you're going to just try to get the most DPS out with your first skill and then auto attacks after. So this combo is mainly used once you're already fighting with them, but you also want to just slow them with your second ability. And that's just really how you can get the max damage out of her kit if you are in that type of situation. Alright, so now I'm going to be going over Evelyn's more advanced combos. And the first one that we're going to be learning is her basic burst combo with her ultimate. And how that works is first you're going to kind of start off how we did on the first combo, where you're going to be charming them and using your third ability. After that, you're going to be using your first ability. And then when you need to, you can ult out to execute them once they're low on HP. And you just need to quickly use your ultimate to get out of there um, safe and sound. Evelyn's next combo that we're going to be learning is Evelyn's long range combo that you're going to be using when you just need to burst down um, either a really squishy target or a target that is most likely lower in HP. So if they're one third HP or half HP, then this is a combo that you can consider using if you know that you have enough damage to burst them down. Um, 
or if you're playing mid Evelyn and you're using Ignite and you know you can finish them off with that. So how it works is once you've charmed them, you can actually jump backwards and use your first ability. Uh, remember to um, input buffer that so it comes out as soon as you are there. After that, use your third ability onto them and use your first ability while retreating. So something like that. And you're going to be able to burst down a low HP target, especially in the late game, if you really need to use your ultimate. But be careful when you use this combo um, to make sure that your target is either isolated or um, they don't have flash. Or if they do have flash, make sure that you have protobelt or flash because um, you can also do it that way as well. If you need to activate your charm, you can use either flash or protobelt to gap close onto them as well. Lastly, we're going to be learning Evelyn's one-shot combo that she's going to be using when she wants to just quickly burst them one down with no time to react. And another thing that you need to note with this combo is you can replace Flash with Proto Belt if you don't have Proto Belt up yet, or you're going for um, Stasis, for example, if, if the enemy team has an Assassin, which I'll be covering later into the guide. But basically how it works is first you're going to be starting with your second skill. You don't need to wait till it's finished. You can immediately Flash use your first skill. So actually when you do this, they won't be charmed. Then use your third skill, auto attack and ult out of there. And this is basically a really quick one shot combo that's going to leave very little time for your opponent to react. Now I'm going into Evelyn's build and the first item that you want to be building um, unless you snowball really hard is going to be Rabadon's death cap. Now the reason why you build this item is because it'll give you a huge AP power spike and build on your AP items that you build in the rest of the game. And this item is just really great for her burst damage and it's an item that takes a while to build but pays off huge and since Evelyn is more of a scaling chap it works pretty well with her kit. After that I like building Lich Bane um, just for the extra ability power, ability haste and the passive that it has for your auto attack which synergizes really well with her playstyle. After that I usually buy a boot item um, I go for Boots of Lucidity and then build them usually into the Proto Belt enchant. If I don't build them into Proto Belt, I usually either go Stasis enchant if I'm up against either a Zed or a Fizz, if I'm playing Lane Evelyn, or if I'm up against a Fed, Assassin, or Carrier, someone that can burst me down really quickly, then taking the Stasis isn't too bad. You can also go for the Quick Silver Sash if you feel like uh, the enemy team has a ton of crowd control or some sort of crowd control that you really struggle in dodging then it's okay taking quick silver sash but most of the time i would recommend going proto belt just to give her an extra dash and a gap closer after that you should buy infinity orb which will give her more max health and ability power you can also rush this item as your first item if you do get a few kills early game but most of the time that's not going to happen so usually you're going to be going for infinity orb as your fourth item just to give you more max health ability power and a passive that synergizes really well with evelyn's passive um, on her ultimate and just basically her kit it'll give you more damage when the enemy champions are below 35 percent hp which is just really great for her kit after that, you're gonna be going for two situational items. The first item that you can go is going to be Void Staff, and this is when the enemy team is more tanky and you need some magic pen. Um, you can also go for more Lanomicon if the enemy team has a lot of healing and you wanna apply Grievous Wounds. Another item that you can go for on Evelyn, and this is one of the new items, is going to be Crystalline Reflector, and this is really good against AD damage. So if your opponents have a lot of AD, then you can consider going for this item. 
And so those are the situational items that you can build on Evelyn. You can also obviously go for Awakened Soul Stealer and you can rush that item if you are really snowballing and getting a ton of kills and you just want some more ult cooldown. So those are the situational items that you can go on Evelyn and it really depends on what the game state is to go for those different items. For Evelyn's rune, the first rune that you want to take is Electrocute. You can go Conqueror, but I personally like Electrocute better just for her burst damage and just the Assassin playstyle that I go for, Electrocute tends to work better for that. However, if you are playing lane Evelyn and you think that you're going to be taking a bit more extended trades, Conqueror is okay as well, but Electrocute is better for more burst damage. For her second rune, I like taking Gathering Storm just for the extra scaling. She is a late game champion and she does scale pretty well into the game, so taking Gathering Storm isn't a bad rune. For her third rune, I like taking Hunter Titan. Now this is for more tenacity so that you get crowd controlled less and also for a bit of max health every time you get a kill. So it'll help you snowball a lot. And for her fourth rune, I also like taking Hunter Genius because again, this one will help her snowball a lot as well as help her gain some CDR on her skills, which is really great for Evelyn. If you're playing Le Evelyn in lane, you can also take Sweet Tooth if you're up against a hard matchup. For Evelyn's spells, I would recommend going Smite Flash in jungle and Flash Ignite in lane. All right, so now I'm gonna be going over my tips and tricks for Evelyn, and these are really important because it'll take a good player to a really great player um, if you're using Evelyn. And the thing is, I've played Evelyn in low elo, I've played Evelyn in higher elo as well, so I know how she works in different elos. And a lot of people will watch Evelyn in they will watch and they're stuck in Evelyn. Punishing enemy mistakes if you are in low elo and then abusing enemies um, playing way too safe if you are up in high elo. So the first tip is just understanding what elo you're in and how much respect you're getting because in low elo people do not respect Evelyn at all. So one of the things that you can do is just camp a lane and a lot of people will flame you, a lot of people will hate you for doing this on the enemy team, but you can camp someone and just kill them over and over and over again, especially because so many people in Emerald, Low Diamond, or Platinum Elo are overextended in their lanes or they're just not playing well against Evelyn. They're just not aware of the threat of Evelyn being able to gank and just being there. Um, and they will just expose themselves and offer themselves up as free food. And the crazy thing is, some Evelyns will not even take advantage of these situations. They'll just let them overextend, they'll just let them um, be free food, but not even take it. They'll just keep on farming. And the thing that you need to know with Evelyn is after you hit level five, you have a huge power spike and you should be constantly ganking other lanes unless there is absolutely nothing that you can gank or um, you're too low to gank a lane or make plays happen, then as soon as your ult is up, you should be looking for plays, you should be looking for ganks and things like that. So really look to punish people in lower elos. My second tip for you is to really understand how Evelyn's jungle clear works. Evelyn really does not have any fighting potential until level five unless there's some crazy skirmish where she's able to hit a charm. You really don't have any damage before level five and your ult combos. So what you need to do is go for proper jungle clears and try to avoid a 1v1 at a scuttle because there are a ton of junglers that will beat you before you hit level five and before um, when you're doing the first scuttle fight. So really understand jungle pathings and try to start opposite of where the enemy jungler is because often you'll see the enemy jungler reveal which path they're going to be going or they'll just expose themselves by either going onto your side or someone may spot them at the beginning of the game or you can look for leashes and things like that so really understanding jungle pathings with Evelyn is really important because jungle pathings are really the foundation 
of how you can snowball and how you can really get a game with a ton of kills. So if you don't know how to do proper jungle pathings or you're more of a beginner and you know the basics, but you want to learn more of an advanced guide, I do have an advanced jungle pathing guide I'll right, right corner of the screen and also in the description and maybe even a pinned comment down below because it's really important that you understand jungle pathings because they really are the foundation of getting a really good game. So that's my second tip for you is understand jungle pathings and try to avoid getting into skirmishes before level five, unless there's an absolutely free kill. In that case, obviously you should be taking those types of free kills. But other than that, don't really get into any fights or skirmishes before level five, where you really get online with your ultimate and your invisible passive. My third tip for you is something that um, I know some high elo Evelyns know, but many low elo Evelyns don't know, and that is her ultimate smite combo. Now, if you are playing jungle Evelyn, this is one of your greatest tools, especially if you are going for a steal on the Baron or the Elder Dragon. This is something that you should pull out, and this is one of your trump cards that you can use. Since your ultimate does so much execution damage, if you combine it with smite, you can almost guarantee an objective against an opponent that doesn't know what they're doing. So you can really try to track down the amount of damage that your ultimate will do and then add that to your smite damage. And I know you'll have to do a little bit of math here, but if you want to win games, this is one of the most free ways that you can do it. I've stolen so many objectives just by using this combo and it's just a really important thing that not a lot of low elo Evelyns know so I'm just putting that out there just in case you didn't know but this is one of the most efficient ways to steal objectives it is using your smite plus ultimate. My last tip for you is going to be how to set up vision with Evelyn. Now with Evelyn, you actually do not need sweeper. And the reason why you don't need sweeper is because you can just walk through wards with your passive and they will not be able to spot you because you are invisible. So instead of taking sweeper, you can just take normal yellow wards. And unless you're clearing wards on objectives, this is probably the way to go. You can maybe tell your support to take sweeper if you are really worried about wards on objectives. But if you do take normal wards, you can go for deeper wards into the enemy jungle. You can go for deeper wards and just try to spot where the enemy team is. And the reason why you're doing this is to help set up more ganks with your passive and your charm. So that's my last tip for you. Um, that really helped me get a lot of kills. So you guys should try to utilize that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of you guys have been asking for Evelyn guides for a long time but I did have to try to really master her before making this guide for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any requests for any new guides in the future, please leave that down in the comment section down below. And with that, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.